Welcome back to part two of this series where you learn how to calculate mass defect and nuclear binding energy. We ended off with question number two and the question reads, calculate the mass defect and nuclear binding energy per nucleon in mega electron volts for uranium-238 which has a mass of 238.050784 AMU. So using the same procedure as before, the very first thing that I want to do is look up how many protons are in one uranium atom. As you can see from the periodic table, it has 92 protons. So let me write that down. 92 protons. Using this value and using the atomic mass unit of 238, subtracting these two gives us the amount of neutrons, which is something we also need. So subtracting 92 from 238 gives us 146 neutrons. Now the reason why we need these two values is because the formula for mass defect is the atomic mass unit of all the protons plus the atomic mass unit of all the neutrons minus this mass. So in case that's confusing, let me show you what I mean. So I'll write down mass defect or MD is equal to 92 protons times the mass of one proton, which I wrote down previously as 1.00783, 1.00783. And if you've already watched part one and are now watching part two, you're always welcome to use our website at biology-forms.com to ask any further questions pertaining to this topic or any chemistry topic. So now we will add the mass of all the neutrons. And as calculated, it's 146 neutrons times the mass of one neutron being 1.00866. These two will be summed up and we'll subtract from these this value. Now remember, after you're done this calculation, the units are in AMU. So let me show you, 92, 1.00783, plus 146. I like to do it all in one step on my calculator. Minus 238.050784. And we should have a number that has a maximum of five digits after the decimal place to keep in mind significant figures. So 1.93393 3 and I'll write the six down so I don't round too early. I'll put a dot over the 3 just to signify that that's where it should end, and that's AMU. So I found the mass defect, and using the mass defect I'll convert this value into mega electron volts, and the conversion ratio is provided right here from the previous question, so let me convert this for you, 1.933936 the way I like to convert is using this technique where I multiply it now by 1 AMU at the bottom and 931.5 mega electron volts at the top. This technique is called dimensional analysis and we have videos on how to convert this way, but you can convert any way you like. So I'll take the value that's currently on my calculator and multiply it to 931.5 and we end up with this value. The units are mega electron volts. Don't round this number yet. It should go to four significant figures. But the last step is to divide this by the nucleons, which for us represents the mass number of 238. So we'll divide this by 238 nucleons. And let's go ahead and do that. So that number, 4613, divided by 238, and we will round this to four significant figures, 7.569. 7 decimal 569 mega electron volts per nucleon. 